Hello students. Today we are going to discuss uh, very important uh, why questions generally asking in the paper. If you see out of 70 marks that uh, about 50% marks will be asked why that is understanding best question. But many students are doing mistake in how to write the why question, reasoning questions. They are not writing the proper answer. That's why they are using the marks. So today we will discuss some why questions, reasoning questions related to hello alkane and hello arrangements. That question I will discuss, I will repeat the answer. Twice I will repeat the answer. Carefully listen and you write the answers. That when I, that I will tell you, you write the answers. Here I have prepared that 20 questions related to hello alkane, hello arrangements. 1 to 20 questions. I will start the question from 20 so that I can write here something to explain this thing, the questions. So let us start the first question number 20. ARX means hello arrangements. Hello arrangements is less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction than Rx. That means hello arrangements is less reactive than hello alkane towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. Nucleophilic substitution reaction very less reactive because here if you see the structure of uh, your hello arrangement structure if you draw this is the structure of hello arrangement having lone pair if you see here what happens due to resonance of hello arrangement it forms what? Double bond. If you see, it forms double bond. Due to formation of double bond be between benzene and halogen, so the halogen cannot easily be substituted by nucleophile. That's why haloarine generally does not show nucleophilic substitution reaction because due to formation of double bond of halogen with benzene name due to resonance. So you have to write like this and you have to draw the structure. Okay. So question number 19. What is question number 19? That ally chloride is easily hydrolyzed than propyl chloride. N propyl chloride is not easily hydrolyzed. It is hydrolyzed but in compared to this that ally chloride is easily hydrolyzed. What is the cause? Here you see the concept. Here that this allyl chloride forming stable carbocation. If you produce the stable carbocation of this is more stable carbocation compared to which one that propyl. So because you see the resonance, that's why propyl carbocation is more stable. That's why. Ally or ally carbocation is more stable, that's why this ally chloride is easily hydrolyzed by alcohol aqueous cabbage. Easily hydrolyzed. This group can easily break. Okay. Question number 18. Chlorine in uh, is an electron withdrawing group. We know chlorine is an electron withdrawing due to electronegative nature. But it is ortho para directing in electrophilic substitution reaction. If you see electrophilic substitution reaction, you see this one. Why? If you draw the chlorine, this is chlorine lone pair is there. Then you see the resonance. This is the minus charge. This is the minus charge. As minus charge produce ortho and para position, the electron density due to Resonance electron density around the ring increasing and ortho position, para position getting more negative charge. That's why electrophile easily substituted are ortho and para position. That's why although chlorine is a electron withdrawing group, but when it attaches to the benzene ring due to resonance, it increases electron density. This is called plus M effect. Major magnetic effect plus electron density increasing. That's why it is more reactive towards electrophilic substitution reaction. Okay. Then question number 70. Hello arene is not prepared by action of phenol and Lucas reagent. But we know if you give 
that uh, alcohol with the Lucas reagent Zn Cl2 and Cl2 HCl and HCl result is RCl result is RCl but this step is not possible in case of which one which is not prepared because phenol same because phenol has resonance due to resonance it gets double bond character oxygen gets double bond character of the benzene that's why it cannot be substituted that's why haloalkene cannot be prepared from phenol by action with lucas reagent due to double bond character of oxygen with benzene in phenol by resonance that's why it is not easily substituted by lucas reagent that is halogen okay then the next question number 16 that chloroform should be kept in close brown bottle because chloroform is very sensitive to light when it reacts to oxygen in presence of light forming co cl2 and hcl here what happens this co cl2 is called fuzzin it is called fuzzin very poisonous gas is formed that's why chloroform bottle should be kept in a brown closed bottle because it is volatile it should be kept in a closed bottle and it should not be contact the oxygen if you come in contact with oxygen presence of light to produce fuzzin co cl2 which is very poisonous that's why it should be kept in a closed and brown bottle then 15 Haloalkene is easily soluble in organic solvent because haloalkene is purely covalent character. That's why easily soluble in and, and less polar and soluble in organic solvent due to covalent character. This is the answer. Okay. Fourteen. Nitro group in haloalkene increases the electrophilicity because if you see if you place the nitro group with haloalkene, let it be. This is your haloalkene. If you place nitro group, you know nitro group is a electron withdrawing group. Okay. As it is an electron withdrawing group, so the negative charge around the ring. Nitro group in haloalkene increases the electrophilic substitution reaction. Here, what happens? Your nitro group, uh, nitro group in haloalkene. decrease the electron substitution reaction because here you see nitro group is a electron withdrawing group that is minus i effect due to minus i effect what happens the electron density around the ring decreases that's why the substitution reaction of that electrophilic substitution becomes slow this is the answer then n butyl halide has higher boiling point than tertiary butyl n butyl is a straight chain compound It is a straight chain compound, but tertiary butyl is branch chain. Tertiary butyl means it is a branch chain compound. As it is a branch chain, small size, so low boiling point. It is straight chain, large size, high boiling point due to van der Waals force. So this is the answer. So n butyl has larger size, high van der Waals force, so higher boiling point. This is the answer. Then question number two. Haloarene does not give silver nitrate test. Already discussed. Haloarene. What happens in haloarene? That due to resonance, double bond character is formed between halogen and benzene. That's why not easily substituted by nitro group. So nitro group cannot be easily substituted. Silver nitrate only show will show the uh, will react with the haloalkene. Where it will be more polar, but haloalkene is less polar due to resonance, so it cannot be substituted. Chlorine cannot be easily substituted by silver nitrate test. That's why it does not give silver nitrate test. Rx with KCN gives RCN, but with AgCN gives Rx because Rx when reacting KCN, KCN is ionic. 
आयोनिक एंड कार्बन कैन माइनस चार्ज के सी एन एंड के प्लस सो सी एन माइनस अटैक्टिव आर सो प्रोड्यूस आर सी एन बट आर एक्स विथ ए जी सी एन आर एच सी एन इज को वैलेंट आर इज को वैलेंट इज नो इट इज नॉन को दैट दैट्स व्हाई नाइट्रोजन हैविंग लोन पेयर अटैक्टिव तो आर एंड फॉर्मिंग आर एंड सी दिस इज द आंसर so KCN is ionic compound produce, producing CN minus so that carbon carrying negative charge that's why RCN is produced as a nucleophile CN minus a nuclear but here AgCN is covalent cannot produce free CN minus but as nitrogen having lone pair attack to R and forming R and C so here N is attack to R here C is attack to R this is the difference between RCN and S RCN and AgCN then primary halo alkene shows sn2 mechanism faster than tertiary because if you see primary halo alkene and tertiary uh, halo alkene the difference is r is more bulkier which one tertiary group tertiary group is more bulkier than primary that's why the nucleophile cannot attach easily to the carbon atom of living group attach to the living group so as tertiary group is sterically protect as the carbon atom of tertiary group attach to the living group is sterically protected so sn2 mechanism is not shown here that's why sn2 mechanism is faster in case of primary because it is free the carbon is free here carbon is more bulkier more sterically protected this is the answer then SN1 mechanism always gives racemic mixture because, but in SN2 it gives inverted. Very simple question. As in SN1 mechanism, first product is carbocation, and the first in SN1 some first first what happens produce carbocation. As in SN1 reaction, the product first step is the carbocation formation. So carbocation is a planar shape. Both sides are free. That's why it produces racemic mixture. It produces L form and D form. But in SN2 mechanism, as the nucleophile attacks from the back side of living group, so always the result is what inverted form. So this is the answer only. Answer is in SN1 mechanism the product is racemic mixture, but SN2 reaction the product is inverted form. Because in SN1 reaction the first step is carbocation formation. And carbocation is is free. It is planar. It has planar shape, so free to it is free to attack by nucleophile in both sides. That's why S mixture D and L both will produce. Then Rx with aqueous gives alcohol and with alcohol gives alkene. Because you need aqueous KOH, your OH minus your OH minus acts as nucleophile. But in alcohol pH, your alkoxide ion is produced. That alkoxide ion acts as a better base. Acts as a bet. Acts as a base. Or we can say in alcohol medium, OH minus OH minus acts as a base. But in aqueous stage, OH minus acts as a nucleophile. And another thing, alcohol KOH, the Rx cannot easily polarize. It cannot be dissociated easily. That's why it produces alkene. So in alcoholic case, the OH minus acts as a base, but in aqueous case, it acts as a nucleophile. This is the difference between nucleophile and same reagent, same reagent OH minus OH minus. Here acts as a nucleophile. That means it has more nucleophilic character. It attacks to the carbon, partial positive carbon. But here, as a base, it abstracts proton from the adjacent carbon. That's why the product is alkene. Here, product is alcohol. So this is the difference between aqueous case and alcoholic case. Then paradiplo benzene has higher melting point than ortho meta because in paradiplo benzene, if you draw the structure, if you draw the structure of para. Para dipolar benzene has higher metal because para dipolar. If you draw the structure of your fluorobenzene, that is para crystal, 
more symmetrical structure. It has more symmetrical structure. As the symmetry, symmetrical structure, so better close packing occurs. That's why melting point is melting point is highest or maximum. RMGX should be prepared in anhydrous condition because RMGX, RMGX, RMGX reacts with water in, or moisture forming RH that is alkane. If you use some moisture condition or your reaction takes place in moisture, then your Wigner's reagent reacts with water and forming alkane. That's why it should be prepared in anhydrous condition. If moisture is there, then instead of your that Wigner's uh, reagent, you will get alkane because it reacts with water. This is a very important condition. Halo alkane is immiscible water because halo alkane cannot form intermolecular hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond cannot possible in case of halo alkane. That's why these are water insoluble. Dipole moment of halo arene is lower than Rx because if you see the halo arene structure, halo arene has both uh, that minus I effect due to halogen in upward direction and a resonance also plus n in downward direction as minus i effect and resonance in opposite direction of halo arene that's why low dipole moment dipole moment of halo arene decreases due to the opposite direction of minus i effect and plus m Minus I effect in towards chlorine and plus and towards benzene, just opposite, both cancelling each other. That's why low dipole moment. But in Rx, always in one direction towards halogen, that's why higher dipole moment. Ri is more faster than RCl because in case of Ri, the halogen iodine is larger size, low bond dissociation energy, low bond dissociation energy. BD bond dissociation energy of Ri is low, that's why it is more reactive compared to R. Br, RCl, the decreasing order. RCl is low reactive because due to more bond dissociation energy. Tertiary, tertiary butyl bromide readily react to the SNR mechanism because tertiary bromide, if you see the tertiary bromide structure, that it produces. Tertiary carbocation, which is more stable, which is more stable. This is the answer. As tertiary butyl in the first step formation of carbocation in SN1 mechanism in first step is the formation of carbocation already know. So R is more stable, the formation of carbocation will be faster. That's why it shows SN1 mechanism. Sulfur base is not used during the reaction of alcohol and KI. Because what happens here, as sulfuric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent, it reacts with the Ki forming I2. So instead of HI or I, it produces I2. That's the reaction, halogenation. Sulfur is not used during the reaction of alcohol with the Ki. Then the alcohol Ki produces Ri, but in presence of sulfuric acid, it will oxidizes Ki to I2. That's why substitution of halogen is not possible. That's why we should not use sulfuric acid during the reaction of alcohol with HI or alcohol with KI, alcohol with HBr or KBr. We should avoid the use of sulfuric acid because it oxidizes KBr and KI to halogen I2 and Br2. That's why we should not, we should not use the reaction this in presence of sulfuric acid. So these are very important uh, white questions, but you have to write the exact answer to the point, don't write more. And when, when any structure explanation is required, you draw the resonance structure, draw the that so showing the structure, then your answer will be more appropriate. So you practice more, then you will have a better knowledge about how to write the white question and reasoning question. Okay, thank you all.